Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be trying to create the cast of Harry Potter or the main three characters of Harry Potter in The Sims because I figured that would be pretty fun. I enjoyed carrying car Ugh. I enjoyed creating the cast of Pretty Little Liars so I thought I might as well do Harry Potter. I'm going to jump straight in, open up my creator sim and we are going to start off with Harry Potter. Okay, and I think I'll do them as young adults because that gives me a bit more to work with. So I'm going to remove all of this. I think I might start on this head shape because this is a bit wrong. His head's kind of more this shape and these cheekbones are a bit wrong. He doesn't really have any cheekbones. He just has like quite a flat line here. Jaws, okay. I want to get rid of the little dimple there so something like that maybe move the lips down a little bit the lips are actually looking pretty good he does have slightly more upturned lips and his lower lips that little bit bigger but i think that looks okay and so now for the nose he's got a pretty like thin nose and it looks to be about the same thickness the whole way but it also i think i have to jump out of edit mode to do it properly it also is a little bit more... Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe like that. And then for the eyes, let's pick a just a starting eye. Something that's very... Yep, okay, I think that's a good starter. Now he's got really blue eyes, so... I might start with these ones. Yeah, let's go with these ones. I'm going to jump in and just play around with these for a second. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly um, edit the eyebrows. I'm not sure what's going on with the like little squares around his upper lip. That's a bit strange. But he's got very thick eyebrows. So I might have to go with something like this. I might just lighten them a bit so they're not as harsh. I might go with that for now. And we'll come back to the face as we put the hair on but I want to throw these on because that's going to help I think they might be a little bit too big but they were the best I could find at the time so let's just give him okay we're gonna have to put the glasses back on put his little scar on there like that might go slightly fainter because it's not quite as bright as that one. And then I think for um, eyelashes, I'm actually going to have to do it as eyeliner maybe. Because I can't seem to find any um, eyelashes that aren't in glasses. They're all in glasses. So I'm going to just have to... Okay, so I'll quickly find the eyelashes that we want to use. Okay, so I might just stick these eyelashes on. I think they look pretty good because they're really subtle then I'm just gonna find a nice messy sort of hair to put on him okay so I'm trying I'm tossing up between this hair and also I think it was which hair was it wasn't that one it was either this hair or maybe this hair I think that looks okay I can't find one that kind of like covers his scar a little bit he does tend to do that wear something that'll cover his scar so now I'm just going to darken his lips a little bit because he doesn't have lips that are really that light. <laughs> okay, I think that's a relatively natural looking color compared to some of the others. So we're going to go with that. And then I also downloaded the uh, outfits, hopefully. Here we go. So we've got the Gryffindor tie here. So I'm going to leave that as is. And then for the pants, I believe I've also got the Gryffindor pants here somewhere. Okay, I can't seem to find the pants, which is a little bit annoying, but I guess it just has to be black pants. So we'll just throw them in these ones. And then shoes just need to be um, something a bit warm. Something just like that. Okay, so I think that is our Harry Potter done. And I feel like he wants to be, I guess he wants to be successful lineage because, you know, he didn't really get to have that. So we'll go with that. We'll go with ambitious, family oriented and good. So now let's move on to Hermione Granger. I really hope I've spelled that right. Okay, so 
Again, I'm just going to leave her as a young adult and I'm just going to quickly get rid of the shoes and hair and everything so we know what we're working with. Oh, I didn't even try a skin detail on him. I might see if that makes any difference, makes him look less or more like Harry Potter. No, I don't like that one. I mean, I don't mind that one. I might put that one on him. Okay, so now we'll move on to Emma Watson. So Emma actually does have quite dark brown eyes. I think that's pretty spot on. So let's start again on the nose. I feel like the nose is the most important part to get right. And the lips look actually pretty spot on to what I'm looking at. They might just be a little bit thinner and then like slightly wider I think like that she has a very skinny face quite a skinny jaw and everything like that and quite a like pointed jaw then as for her eyes she's got very oval shaped eyes or almond shaped eyes so I think they're pretty good to start off with okay now I, I have to change her skin color because that's not quite right for her she's about Maybe about there, that looks pretty good. Let's throw some eyebrows on her quickly. So she's got thick eyebrows, but they're not kind of filled in eyebrows. Maybe something along these lines. I think they look pretty good. Okay, let's give her some eyelashes, because that always makes the world of difference. And she doesn't have massive eyelashes, so let's go with something like this. Okay, I think that looks pretty good so far. Now she's got the sort of pink lips. She does have closed lips as well. So we'll go with maybe maybe this color. That looks pretty good. Put a bit of blush on her as well because I feel like she's looking really pale at the moment. Might go with this one. Okay, we might go with that one. And I might just throw a skin detail on now because I feel like, I don't know if that's better or worse. I feel like maybe this one's a bit better. So we'll go with this one and I might just quickly um, make her a bit paler now because I feel like that skin detail makes them a bit darker so I think that looks pretty good now I'm just going to find a nice hair really quickly I feel like this hair could work that looks okay the photo I'm looking at she does have one side of her hair pinned back sort of here so I think this could work pretty well so I might just throw her into uh, the Harry Potter top the Gryffindor top and I might just put her in like a black skirt maybe, maybe something like this. Um, and then I'm gonna also put some stockings on her because I feel like her skirt might have been a bit longer. Let's see if we can find one that's a bit longer. Actually, I think that's pretty good. We'll go with that. And then uh, just some shoes. I'm not actually sure what kind of shoes she wore. So I might actually put her in some, maybe just some little black boots or maybe just some like flats or something with stockings okay i'm just gonna go with these flats and then i'm just going to throw some where are we just some black stockings on like that and i think that looks pretty good i think she's as close as i'm going to get her <laughs> so i think she wants to be um a good at many things at once sim i think she can be a genius a bookworm but also good, I think. Okay, so that is Hermione Granger done. Now I'm going to move on to Ronald Weasley. Ron Weasley? Wow, I cannot type. Okay, so let's start, same as always, by removing all of this. I feel like Ron has a slightly wider nose than most of the other characters so I might just start with something like this because I feel like that's pretty good I'm just gonna quickly choose some eyes and stuff that I think will be a good starting point and some lips as well he's got pretty thin lips so we'll start there now he's also got a, like a much sort of rounder head and that's just kind of ruined everything hasn't it but also a pointier jaw sort of like that <laughs> I don't know if that that is it all making sense and if it's gonna look at all like him I don't know so his eyes are a bit more apart than that and I feel like this nose is wrong let me have a look and just try and find a nose that might be a bit better I might actually just start with this nose I feel like this nose could work pretty well so I feel like oh, I don't know the nose is hard I feel like the nostrils are too big can I change the size of the nostrils or maybe I need to angle the nose 
I don't know. This is hard. I might just move on to his eyebrows and stuff and do all that first. He's got pretty thin and hidden eyebrows and also very light. So we might just go with these ones. They're like a light red. So I might go back to these ones and make them quite light. And then for the hair, I'm just, oh, I'll quickly change his eye color because he's got kind of like gray eyes, kind of like this, but maybe nothing quite dark enough. So we'll have to go with these ones, I think. Yeah, we'll stick with these ones. And then for the hair, I'm kind of feeling, I put one, maybe it was this one. Oh, it's not light enough, is it? I'm just going to have to have a play around until I find one that's like the right level of brightness. So bear with me and I'll be back when I've found it. Okay, I might actually go with this hair for him. I'm not sure what it is that's just not looking right. I also feel like maybe his top lip is bigger than his bottom lip. Oh, I just don't know. This is so hard. <laughs> I thought he would be easier. I think the nose is still really wrong. So I might start again with another nose. Maybe just kind of a more button nose. Okay, I might start with this nose and have a play with this and see if I can get it to look any better because this is really hard. I didn't expect it to be this hard. I'm just going to throw a skin detail on and see if that helps us at all because at the moment we're just not having it, are we? I might go with this one here. I might make his head actually that tiny bit skinnier. I think that could be my issue. Um, I'm also going to make him quite fair. Maybe this color. Yeah, I feel like this color maybe. This color. Yeah, let's go with that one. Um, okay, I'm going to wax. I've played around with these eyes a little bit. I'm just going to wax some eyelashes on him to see if that helps us at all. Because at the moment, I'm just not seeing it. So he has really, really fair eyelashes. I'm just going to maybe give him those ones. I don't know. This is super hard. I might change the eyebrows again because I don't know. I'm really struggling with this. This is really hard. Maybe give him something like that. And I might actually, rather than doing, like I really wanted this hair to work. I thought this would have been really good. But unfortunately, it's too dark. So I might just have a quick squeeze through the non-custom content and let you guys know if I find anything that works. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. I might just see if I can put some light freckles on with this skin detail because I feel like he might have freckles. I don't know. This is really hard. <laughs> I think he's been the hardest out of all of them. So I think I might just move on to his clothes, throw on his Gryffindor top, throw on some black pants. I might give him different black pants. So like maybe something, oh, not those, maybe these. And then we'll give him some boots like that i don't know what it is about him that i'm finding so hard that might do okay so i feel like for ron he wants i mean they always comment on him eating a lot but i also feel like he wanted to be like in the quidditch team he wanted to be rich he wanted um i don't know this is really hard i might go with foodie because they're always like do you ever stop eating so we'll go with foodie squeamish because of his spider fear and then we'll give him good as well so there we go there are my three main characters from the harry potter series hope you guys like them i found it really hard to do ron so we've got i might just actually while we're here he's really not that tanned <laughs> so yeah we've got harry potter who i think looks pretty good and then we've got hermione granger who i think i did okay on i'm actually pretty happy with her and then Ron Weasley, who I really struggled with. So if you guys can make any suggestions or comments down below on what it is about his face that's just not right, then let me know. I think it might be the eyes, but I played around with the eyes so much. So I think I'm just getting sick of staring at him. Uh, yeah, so I think it's the eyes. Let me know what you guys think if you think it's the eyes as well. But if you enjoyed this, then give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.